Hello and welcome to a new video from Coach and Bus Week magazine. Today we are looking at the EVM City Line. This vehicle is based on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. We're down in Brighton today doing a road test, which we'll take up to Beachy Head and back to see what range it can achieve. This is the same vehicle that was at the ITT hub event last week. Look inside the vehicle. It does have a COVID screen fitted on this one. It can seat 15 passengers and four standing. That's Keel e leather seating with three point seat belts and USB ports to all seats and easily accessible bus stop buttons. Vehicles fitted with Alex original air conditioning, which comes through these vents here. And there's also a temperature sensor in the vehicle to maintain the temperature required. Wheelchair area, two tip up seats. also fitted with belts wheelchair stop request button just there and over destination equipment to the front side and rear at the rear of the vehicle you have the option for the original twin opening doors or you can have a coach rear finish at an additional cost. These rear doors can be fitted with soft trim if you so wish. Moving to the cab area of the vehicle you can have ticket machine equipment fitted and that can be bespoke to whatever machines you're using. Kenwood audio system is fitted as well as a Hanover DG3 destination system. It's a gear selector there. Air conditioning and heating controls. Door open and shut button. And this screen tells you how much charge you've got left on the vehicle. The rest of the dashboard is fairly the same as a standard Sprinter. Tachograph fitted up there, Mercedes-Benz. Room for luggage. Inside the engine bay, where the engine would have been on a normal Sprinter, there is one battery situated underneath here and the second battery is situated just there. You have an Avas vehicle alerting system there, which makes a noise under a certain speed. And this is a coolant to keep the batteries cool. There's also a fan where the radiator would be. It keeps all the electronics cool as well. Got the air intake for the demister unit screen wash, brake fluid and the wiper motor is easily accessible for any repairs. All the orange cables are high voltage.
EVM have got their own front grille replacing the Mercedes-Benz version. The EVM logo. Side skirts on this vehicle are also standard. LED lighting above the entry door. Rear reversing camera. Easy access for cleaning. magazine net there as well put some cleaning materials in the Alex original air conditioning unit is situated at the top of the vehicle just there In terms of what's left of the Mercedes parts, the rear axles and front brake system is still in place. And you have Continental Conti Van Contact 100 tyres fitted as standard. You can just about see the drive line, which is very short underneath the vehicle. And then at the rear of the vehicle, you've got one battery situated. We'll have a closer look at. As you can see, you've got one battery fitted there. The linted motors. makes access very easy to the batteries. In terms of charging the vehicle, you'll find the plugs where the standard diesel filler is. This is the AC charging cable, which gets plugged into the top one. That's for if you're using it as a wall charger. If you're using a standalone AC DC charger, you'd use both. Panoramic tinted glazing is fitted as standard. Thank <laughs> you. 